Hi, I want to take a look at an example of resonant frequencies in organ pipes and how we can use those to determine the length of a pipe. So, organ pipes are types of musical instruments based off standing waves of air inside pipes. And there are two different geometries we can deal with. One is an open, open pipe, which is just a pipe that has two open ends on either side. The other is an open closed pipe where one side is closed, the other side is open, and we end up getting two different frequency spectrums from these types of pipes. So with an open, open pipe, we have a half wave resonator, which means we can fit an integer number of half waves inside the pipe. So we're told with this pipe that our fundamental frequency is 300 hertz. The fundamental frequency is the lowest frequency that will trigger a resonance. So for open open pipes, the wave pattern that we see in terms of frequency is the same as what we see for strings that are clamped on both ends. The frequency would be equal to our harmonic number n, which for the fundamental would just be 1, times the speed of the wave, which is the speed of sound. And in this class, we use 343 meters per second for the speed of sound and air, unless told otherwise. And we would divide by two times the length of the pipe. So for my fundamental frequency, to solve for my length, I multiply both sides by L. I divide both sides by my frequency. And that tells me the length of my first pipe would be equal to the speed of sound divided by two times the fundamental frequency. So I have 343 meters per second divided by two times 300 hertz, which gives me a length of 0.572 meters. Now, an open closed pipe is what we call a quarter wave resonator because we end up for the fundamental frequency fitting a quarter of a wave inside the pipe itself, three quarters of the wave would be outside. Now, with open, open pipes, all possible harmonics are allowed. We could multiply any integer by our fundamental frequency and we would see a resonance. With an open closed pipe, we have only odd harmonics. So we couldn't get a second harmonic, we couldn't get a fourth harmonic, but in addition to the fundamental, we'd have a third, a fifth, a seventh. All of the odd harmonics are possible in an open closed pipe. So we're told our third harmonic, which would be in integer m equals 3 times our fundamental frequency is equal to the second harmonic in the previous pipe. And the frequencies that we have are equal to our harmonic number m, which is an odd integer, times the speed of sound, divided by 4 times the length of the pipe because of that quarter wave nature that I mentioned. So 3 times my fundamental frequency for the second pipe is two times my fundamental frequency for the first pipe. So we'd be dealing with a frequency of 600 hertz for m equals three. Now to solve for our length, again, multiply by length, divide by frequency. The length of our pipe is our harmonic number, which here is three times the speed of sound, 343 meters per second still, divided by four times the frequency we're looking at. So we'd have four times 600 hertz. So if I calculate everything out, I get a length of the pipe equal to 0.429 meters. Thanks for watching.